With it only being six days away from our next big challenge, taking on the Round the Rock race on the stunning island of Jersey, I thought I would pull together all the kit that's hopefully going to help me through that 48 mile route and I told you all about it. So this is all the gear that I've chosen to use and I'm going to tell you why I've chosen it, including the all important race day shoe of choice. So let's jump into the video and tell you all about my Round the Rock race kit. Welcome back everyone and thanks for tuning in again. I'm Lloyd Purvis and this is Run For Adventure. Now before we go through all my kit for the Round The Rock race, if you have been watching the channel, enjoying the content, but you haven't yet subscribed, then maybe today is the day. Only takes a second to do by clicking on that little red box there down in the corner and it is completely free, but it really is a big help when it comes to the channel. Don't forget while you're there to hit that bell icon as well because then you'll be notified when we upload any new exciting running content. So we're going to start from the top and we're going to work our way down and I've actually just checked out the long range forecast and the weather looks like it's going to be pretty good on race day. So we might have a little bit of drizzle on the start line in the morning but once we're up and running it should be sunny with a bit of light cloud and temperature wise anywhere between sort of 18 and 20 degrees. So I would say that's perfect weather conditions for running all the way around the island. So on my head I'm obviously going to be wearing our latest Run For Adventure running cap. Super comfy, highly breathable and I know I'm a bit biased here, but it really is one of the most comfortable running caps I've ever worn. Unfortunately, they are all sold out at the moment on the website, but we will have some new ones available later in the year. Now, I'm going to be carrying my Sun God Ultra sunglasses. Now, I think it might be a bit of wishful thinking, but if the sun does come out to play, then I'm going to be ready for it. These are great lenses, super lightweight frames, really comfortable to wear for long periods of time. Uh, I'm also going to be carrying a small bottle of sun screen because it's actually on the mandatory kit list which is always good to see. As far as my top half, if it is looking like it's going to be hot weather to run in, I'll probably wear my uh, Say Sky Flow technical short sleeve tee, part of their performance range. So super light fabrics, really breathable, so perfect when the weather's hot and you're out there running. But uh, you never know, I might also go for a bit of Say Sky Flower Power. Some of their floral print short sleeve technical tees always go down well. So I think I'll decide come race day morning. Okay, I think it's about time we took the sunglasses off. Great sunglasses, but I do look a little bit silly wearing them inside. So when it comes down to shorts on the day, I am going to be rocking a pair of Say Sky Ranger shorts. These have to be one of the best pair of running shorts I've ever run in, but they're not actually part of Say Sky's specific running range. They're more of a multi-purpose sort of casual short. I just find them so comfortable. I really like the length, made for some great fabrics, but also they don't have a sort of internal brief liner, which I really like because I like to wear sort of run specific underwear under my shorts. Speaking of underwear, I'm going to be wearing a pair of the Run XP running briefs from CXP. Lovely fabrics, great attention to detail, super comfortable when you're running long distance. They're actually developed with the help of ultra running legend Zach Miller. Now, if these are good enough for Zach, they're definitely good enough for me. Uh, sock choice on the day is obviously going to be a, a very bright, colourful pair of stance socks. I'm not sure which pair at the moment, but I'll definitely make sure it matches the rest of my outfit because we all know that's important. And at the end of the day, they say, if you look good, you're going to perform good. So that's what we're going for. Uh, I'll pop up on the screen here, uh, the mandatory kit list. So you can see it's actually quite a small kit list for a 48 mile race, but I'm still going to be wearing my brilliant Salomon Advanced Skin 12 set to carry all the kit in. I'll have plenty of storage space in there for it, but I just find it fits me so well. It's super comfy to run in, but I also love all the accessible storage options you have that are really easy to access while you're on the move. We need to carry a spare layer just for any unpredicted weather. So I'll be rolling up my 3L Element waterproof jacket from Say Sky, putting it in my dry bag, sticking it in the back of my pack. Hopefully it will stay there all day and we'll have a nice dry race. Uh, we also need to take a collapsible cup for the checkpoints and we need to have the ability of carrying at least one liter of water. So I'll obviously have two 500 ml Salomon soft flasks in my vest. Uh, we need a fully charged mobile phone with the emergency numbers saved on it 
and also need to download the What Three Words app, which I've never had on a mandatory kit before, but we definitely need to have that on our phone just in case of any emergencies. And lastly, we need to carry some nutrition. So obviously there's going to be some checkpoints, aid stations as we make our way around the island to top up, but we need to carry stuff. So I'll have some pouches of precision fuel gel, 90 grams of carb in each one of these pouches, but I'll also have a couple of the super tasty Black Forest Ghetto Explore Flapjacks from Talk. These are so tasty, so moist. So I always carry a couple of these because I really look forward to eating them later on in the race. Uh, electrolytes, I'll have some uh, precision fuel uh, electrolyte tabs, but I'll also have some of their salt tablets just in case it's looking like it's going to be a real hot day. I think I will attach my pole quiver to my salmon pack and carry the brilliant Harrier Havellan Pro Carbon Poles. If you're in the market for an update to your existing running poles or your first pair of running poles, you can't go far wrong with these. Great quality and a real affordable price. So I'm going to have them with me. Uh, hopefully I won't need them. It's not a super hilly route. I think there's 4,500 feet of elevation all the way around the 48 miles. And there is some long runnable sections, I think, because the actual cutoff for the race is only 12 hours for 48 miles. So uh, the other reason I know it must be quite runnable because the course record is a ridiculous five hours and 42 minutes set by Paul Martelletti in 2016. Now I'm sure he's the guy who holds the record for running the quickest marathon time dressed as Spider-Man and it is a bonkers time. He is a proper tasty runner. So with that 12 hour cutoff, we're definitely gonna have to run when we can and march when we can't. So finishing up when it comes to my race day kit and it is the all important shoe choice. Now arriving at the channel, first thing this morning is the new Nike Ultra Flies. This is their sort of performance car carbon plated trail running racer. Super, super hyped. One of the main reasons it's really hyped is because at last Nike have put some decent rubber on the outsole of a trail shoe. So we've got Viber Mega Grip Light Base here. So we now know that the outsole is going to give us great levels of grip. I do wish they'd put a deeper lug on it. The lug is quite shallow, so not sure it'll perform particularly well in muddy conditions. I'm actually going to lace these up tomorrow, take them out for their first run. And I'm really tempted if it performs well to lace these up on race day and test them out thoroughly. At the end of the day, this shoe is designed for ultra marathon running and this would be the perfect test for it, I think. What do you think though, guys? Do you think it's a great idea to test them out on race day or do you think I'm just being silly? Let us know in the comments below. Now, if these don't perform particularly well and they don't fill me with confidence, I could always go for my tried and tested pair of Exodus Ultra 2s. Now, the Exodus Ultra from Saucony has never let me down, no matter what the distance, and I've actually never had any foot issues running in this shoe. So no black toes, no hot spots, blisters, irritation, nothing. It's always served me really well. So this would definitely be a safe bet come race day, but there's also another shoe that we tested recently. So the Agility Peak 5 from Merrells, uh, took them out for their first impressions run. It performed really well. And I actually wore these on the last episode in our Round the Rock series, where we did an 80 mile run from Zena on Technical Coast Path and we ran all the way home. It performed very well on the tarmac section, super comfortable underfoot. And we've got that chunky five mil lug Vibram Mega Grip outsole, which can pretty much handle anything we throw at it. So you can see guys, I've got a, a few choices when it comes to race day shoe, but get in the comments below and let me know which shoe you would run the round the rock race in. So there you have it folks. That is all the race kit and gear I'm gonna be using on the day that's hopefully gonna get me from the start line back to the finish. Uh, there is a couple of uh, other items that I'm going to be carrying on the day. They're not part of the mandatory kit list, but I tend to always carry them in a race. Uh, a spare buff, a little uh, emergency bivy bag, a first aid kit, and some sort of elasticated sticky bandage. Just in case, just to be on the safe side, you never know when items of kit like that might get you out of a tricky situation. Just really looking forward to and excited about the race now, especially now we've got a couple more consistent weeks under our belt when it comes to training. Ideally, I would have liked to get a couple of uh, more long runs in before the day. It's not going to happen and myself and Liga are just going to run together. We're going to try and soak up the atmosphere, take in the stunning views and just have a great day out on the trails running around the beautiful island of Jersey. 
Obviously, I'm gonna be bringing my trusty GoPro along, and we're gonna try and capture all the views, the highs and lows of running an ultra marathon, so you guys at home can come along on the race as well. But for now, guys, really hope you enjoyed the video. Really hope you found it interesting hearing about all the kit I'm gonna be using on race day. I guess all we gotta do now is slightly taper off with our training, put our feet up, stay nice and fit and nice and healthy, eat well, drink well to get ready for a big effort on race day. If you've got any uh, questions about the kit I'm gonna be using, please feel free to get them in the comments below. Uh, don't forget, you can also follow us on our other social media platforms, whether it be Instagram, Facebook, or Strava. But for now, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting the channel. It really is appreciated. We'll be back here very soon. And as always, stay safe and keep on running. Yeah.